They are the eggs of the African moon moth, or Archema mimosa. They love to feed on marula tree. But in captivity you can also use sweet gum leaves, walnut, sumac or eucalyptus to raise them as well. As you can see the tiny babies have grown from orange to green. What's really cool about the caterpillars is their long fleshy tubercules once they become fully grown. This piece is found in tropical Africa in woodland areas, but hobbyists all over the globe like to raise these bugs in captivity just for fun. If you want to learn how to breed moths, then take a look at some of my other videos. Once the caterpillars are fully grown, of course, they spin cocoons. The cocoons may take ages to hatch, unfortunately, but if you are patient, you will be rewarded by an awesome yellow moth. African moon moths have two long tails on their hind wings that deflect attacks from predators. Unfortunately, they have no functional mouth parts and cannot feed. For that reason, the moths only live for about 10 days. Wow! This was the life cycle of the African moon moth. In just one minute, like and subscribe for more life cycles of insects on my YouTube channel.